we begin with a toast, a toast to planet Earth. Today is Earth Day, a time to celebrate everything our planet does for us and a reminder on how important it is for us to take care of our world. If you're looking to start living more eco-friendly, the easiest place to begin living green is inside your own home. From reducing your electricity to starting your own compost bin, there are many ways to make your home and lifestyle more sustainable. Joining us now to share how you can get started is environmental health attorney, Eric Goldstein. Eric, good morning. Morning, Zach. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm so glad we're having this conversation on today, today, Earth Day. Uh, explain to us the difference between recycling and, comp and composting. Well, Zach, Americans produce about six pounds of trash per day every day. Most of it ends up in landfills and incinerators, and they create lots of environmental problems. The best thing we can do is reduce the amount of waste mm -hmm. we're generating in the first place, but recycling can help, especially for things like aluminum, metals, paper, and cardboard. As for composting, compost is really just the process for recycling organics. That's food scraps and yard waste. And they are the single largest portion of our residential waste stream. So talk to us, Eric, about what composting looks like inside our homes, in our backyards. Give us some examples. Well, there are different ways of taking our food scraps and yard waste and turning it into finished soil enhancer. And when we've got finished soil enhancer compost that helps crops, trees, greenery all to grow and keeps it again out of landfills and incinerators. Some folks have a weekly curbside pickup, which mm -hmm. they can uh, arrange from services for a modest fee and save money that they don't have to spend on uh, the trash man. Zero Waste Houston or Moonshot both provide uh, weekly pickup services for your food scraps and yard waste. The city of Houston had a drop-off program, pilot program, and uh, we urged them to make that a permanent one. Mm -hmm. uh, but at home, you can either do something as simple as setting up a three by three foot compost pile in your backyard, just fence it off. You add layers of dried uh, grass and wood chips, and of course your food scraps. You turn it every week or so, and uh, before too long, you'll have finished compost. You can also get a compost tumbler. That's mm, about yeah. the size of a barbecue and uh, have that in your backyard. You put the food scraps and yard waste in that and turn that and lo and behold, you turn waste into very useful finished compost. Yeah, certainly something too you can do with the kiddos to get them involved and, and, and spike their, their interest and awareness. Uh, talk to us about plastic waste. How can families reduce plastic waste? Well, of course, plastic is made from petroleum. The amount of plastics that we're using has tripled over the last few decades, and plastics are now everywhere, in our rivers, in oceans, in the food chain, in our bodies. And so very little of this plastic is recycled, and it's a significant environmental problem. We can look at everything we buy and figure out how we could produce, uh, purchase less of it. We can buy in bulk. Uh, so that laundry detergent uh, we can get in concentrated form or in cardboard boxes mm -hmm. even better. We can use stainless steel or aluminum uh, water bottles instead of buying plastic bottles and that'll save money too. We can keep reusable shopping bags in our cars and therefore not have to take uh, a half a dozen plastic bags every time we go to the supermarket. We can skip the straws and the plastic utensils, but really buying refillables and reusables rather than single use items is the best thing we can do to cut back on plastic waste. Yeah, that really is key. Okay, let's talk about consuming uh, energy, reducing energy consumption, tips for this. Well, we'll never solve the climate crisis just by doing what we uh, can do in our homes. We need government and we need industry to help too, but there's a lot all of us can do to reduce our fossil fuel consumption. We can get energy efficient appliances. Those are the ones that have the energy star on them. We can buy energy saving LED light bulbs. That'll save us money every month. We can run our dishwashers and washing machines only with full loads. 
We can install ceiling fans. That's a great way of saving mm -hmm. energy, and it allows us to turn down our AC. And finally, smart thermostats, smart power strips. Uh, they will turn off idle devices when they're not in use, and again, save energy and save us money at the same time. Yeah, and when it comes to gardening, you can also be conscious about your, your efforts there. Why is it important to use native plants? Well, we all love our gardens, Zach, and we take pride in them, but too much focusing on manicured mm -hmm. that look, uh, lawns that look like golf courses isn't great for the environment. When our gardens are nothing but uh, lawn grass, they can't support the local ecology, the insects, the birds, the wildlife. So native plants help all of these uh, wildlife thrive. Uh, they require less pesticides and fertilizers, and they can serve water for us. And of course, planting trees and setting up wildflower meadows, they can help clean the air, capture carbon monoxide, and cool our neighborhoods beautifying our community. So there's a lot that native plants can do that we can do right in our own backyards. And starting there is a great place to begin. Eric Goldstein, thank you so much for your time this morning. We do appreciate it. Good morning, Zach. And thank we wanna you. see how you're celebrating Earth Day on Click Two Pins. This right here is a pin from Sharon Krebs. She shares a lovely photo of her swallowtail butterfly caterpillar enjoying his day on a leaf. Check that out, that's pretty cool. Sharon says he looks like a Pokemon, that he does. You can submit your Earth Day photos and videos on click2pins.com, it's completely free. And who knows, you never know when your photo might end up on a newscast just like this one.